you're new to the scene. You have strong ideals and a zealous drive to see them through. The problem is every good band of brothers out there is trying to do the same thing. So how do you win? You've got to plan thoroughly, think naturally, and guerrilla it up. I use guerrilla tactics back in the Great War, but how does that apply to marketing? <laughs> I get this question all the time. It's actually the opposite of a covert operation. You've got to do something so thought-provoking, attention-seeking and radical so it will spread like media wildfire. But don't forget to stick to the purpose of your brand or cause, if you will. So how should I go about my guerrilla warfare? I, I mean marketing campaign. For this, be simple and clear and move with military precision. The strategy may seem majorly complex, but it has to be graspable. The meaning behind it should land like a flashbang. And if it doesn't, well, it will just seem gimmicky. And your brand will look like a duck. Are sabotages, ambushes, and killing without mercy okay? Or have things changed? Just one second. Okay. When it comes to marketing, there are some adjustments that you have to make. You can certainly kill it in the colloquial sense. By all means do so, but don't go further than that. It is, in the loosest terms, an ambush in that it uses the element of surprise to stun your audience. And sabotage only comes into play if you're protecting your campaign against it. However, your core skill set will still be handy. One, information gathering. If you do recon on your target demographic, on the places which they like to go and at the times which they like to do so, then you can plan your campaign strategically and maximize your exposure. Two, using the lay of the land, you'll make considered use of your environment. For example, there was a printing company who placed the printer at the top of an escalator and ejected sheets of paper off every step. Glorious. Now, if you could pull this off, your enemies won't know what. Three, disregarding convention. You'll shun known routes and well-trodden paths. Operate in new territory to maximize surprise factor. Four, accounting for variables and contingencies. The anomalous weather conditions, your target might not show up, and the intervention of the law. Have plans B to Z ready to roll out. Finally, five, using as few resources as possible. You don't need a huge amount of backing or assets to put it off. The only limitations are your creativity, adaptability, and conviction to see something through to the end. The